Oh, look how cute. Oh, you guys just sunbathing on the golf course? You wanna play golf? Huh? You wanna play golf, huh? Oh, you cutie patootie. How nice is it outside, huh, boys? 1 p.m. wake up for daddy. You just chilling. What do you want, belly rubs over there? He's out, you, oh my God, really? You're just incredulous, is that a word? I don't know. Hey guys, we got a fun day planned of nothingness, okay? I'm gonna tell the people what's up. Look at this guy. This is demanding. You are demanding. I shouldn't give in, but I can't help it. You're too damn cute. Enjoy the sun, guys. Okay, this is where we're gonna be for a little bit till the games start. Uh, I got three TVs, all right? So we're gonna have one hockey game over here. Then we'll have another hockey game up top. And then on the left, what we'll do is we'll have a hockey game. Right now, that's the Mary Lemieux scoring five on Apple TV. Got a nice little setup here, and we're gonna put our lineups together and really enjoy it. This is how they welcome the pool guy. Yeah? Let him know, guys. Let him know. Let him know you mean business. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna soak up every minute <clears throat> waking up without having to worry about an alarm or whatever. It's crazy to even think you need an alarm to wake up at noon, but when you're getting home at three, four o'clock in the morning, you know, um, that's just the schedule we're on. So today I'm really going to soak it up. I'm going to give you a fantasy hockey corner minute, just a minute here, because today's a big day again. We got Champions League, we got regular league, and I got in interesting decisions with my lineup. Okay, let's take a look real quick. Um, so Blake Wheeler, COVID, can't use him. Jack Hughes, ooh, ouch, shoulder injury. So right now, I have nine real forwards that I have to choose six from. So I have three are, are left out. Sebastian Ajo at Montreal, no-brainer. Vincent Trocek at Montreal, those are the two no-brainers. Then, here's what I'm going with. I'm going with Stutzel, Jonathan Dolan, who's playing top line in San Jose, off my farm. Nico Heischer without, with Jack Hughes out, who else is going to score? And I'm going Ricard Raquel. Now, notice people, oh, why Ricard Raquel over Jacob Silverberg? He's got more points. Raquel gets more deployment, better power play time. Silverberg's on the third line. I don't know. And we're also going to sit uh, Jakub Voracek because he's playing against the Islanders and we're using Islanders goalies um, and they're tough. They should be. Let's hope. Uh, so it's a weird thing in our league where like if Voracek gets an assist, it's a goal against my own. So it counts as zero anyway, right? So we have to hope that uh, Islanders shut them out. So that's what we're going with. We're going to sit Voracek, Silverberg, and Philip Zadina uh, versus Calorie. And then we're going to watch these games at four o'clock. Uh, when they start and really just kind of enjoy a day that I would normally have this time of year. And we're going to late reg, max late reg after the dinner break, the $2,500 no limit hold and freeze out. Uh, I, I'll, I don't know. I'll take a look later what we start with. And then after that, if that doesn't work out, we will play the $1,500 Raz. Okay. And, and that's going to be our day. It's, a, you know, again, none of these, neither of these events are like really high on the priority list. So we're going to go ahead and take our time. And then we've got, this is going to be PLO week again, I believe. Tomorrow is a limit hold'em six max, and then we've got a 10K and a 25K PLO coming. And, uh, of course, Mike Madison thinks this is my worst game, so I'm very excited to play because, I'm, you know, <laughs> that's got to be a good sign, right? It's so crazy, like, how his brain works, you know? He has not played a single PLO hand with me in over a decade, at least. And he says it's my worst game. It's so bizarre. I don't know how his brain works, and, you know, it's a mystery. When he goes, whatever that happens, what they need to do is put his brain in a jar and dissect what exactly happened there and how did he get to where he was. I think it's worthwhile for humanity's sake. Hi boys. Do you wanna, you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go outside? Is that a yes? Huh? Yeah, yeah, you wanna go too? Let's go together, how about that? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? Come on, let's go. All right, good boy. All right, well, we walked the puppies. I wanna mention one thing I forgot. Well, I didn't realize. Yesterday I said I had 11 caches. I didn't, I have 10. I thought it was 11, counted 11, it's 10. You know, when you play in the World Series of Poker, you're caching a whole bunch of times, you know, you're following along. You guys see, I vlog it every day. So, I mean, <laughs> it's just more evidence that in 2019, 
you know, when uh, I won the player of the year for the third time, but then days later, they did a calculation of the points and found, oh, no, no, it was Robert Campbell who won. I took it like a man. Uh, I would assume that most people in poker would be like, you know, you know, like feel bad for me instead of actually accusing me of cheating or trying to say that I knew, right? One guy in particular did a video where he said, I find it very, 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 oh, look at that hair fucking flip. Very, 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 very hard to believe that he didn't know. Finishing with, we'll never know. You know how we'll know? Because I said I didn't fucking know, okay? And I've been in this game 20 plus years. Nobody's ever accused me of cheating. And there's not much worse in this industry when you play poker for a living than someone calling you a cheater, cheater with no evidence just to be an asshole, right? It's the, it's the most insulting thing ever to think that like, especially for the prize that pays zero dollars. Like, what am I cheating here? You think I would want to win that way? If I want to win that way, why would I be telling Robert Campbell to drop a stack in the PLO to give himself a better chance? Because it was something that I was going to do and I thought it was, you know, in his best interest to do, right? It's just nothing pisses me off more than that. Like, again, you can say whatever you want about me. You don't have to like me or whatever, but you call me a cheater. You're on my fuck off list. Seriously, get the fuck out of my face. Ooh, because it got all heated. Really though, right? You know, your reputation and all that kind of stuff. Someone said, oh, very, 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 very. You know, you know I find you very, 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 very fucking annoying. Let's see how the boys deal with this guy. <laughs> it's a big black cat. Go, go get it, guys. Oh, this is pretty cute. Huh? For Halloween. Oh, yeah, get it, guys. <laughs> go get him. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's not real, guys. <laughs> That's funny. This is what I call just blissful, right? Puppies here, chilling. Game's about to start. I'm going to show you the lineups I'm up against. All right, there you can see on the screen. That's Canadian Gothic. Canadian Gothic is our regular AHL matchup. He's a division rival. We want to beat him. And then in Champions League, we've got, look at that. That's Screaming Eagles right there. Screaming Eagles got a good lineup tonight, looks like, eh? So what I'll do to all, for the next few hours is I'm just going to sweat all the scores, all the games, input as it goes, and just be a complete hockey nerd and really just love it. This is, like, my favorite thing in the world to do. So you do you, I'll do me. No judging. But this is my thing, right? I'm sure we all have our weird things. Karaoke's a secret one people didn't know about, but it's another one of mine. I guess to answer one question people always ask me, you know, as a vegan, right? What's the one meal you, you miss most or whatever? And I get everything I pretty much could have had in a vegan format, but one thing I've never had is a schnitzel. My mom used to make schnitzels all the time. And guess what? I looked at No Butcher today. Guess what they got? They got a vegan schnitzel. Want to see? Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy once again. I got a little side salad. I got to lick this way. A schnitzel. German style schnitzel. Let's take a look here. Oh, let's look at that. All right. What do we got inside? A little rat. Oh, yeah. This is going to work. That's going to work, people. Yes! What a great day. Okay. Not going to lie. Mm, not going to lie. Not as good as my mom's. This is be real. But pretty damn good. Watch this. Let's see how much he likes this thing. It's the, it's the radish. Here, go for it. Put it in your mouth. You don't want it? Here. He doesn't want veggie. Come here. Do it. Do it like you did before. For the people. Oh, you're just licking my hand now. He does this thing where he'll push it. And he'll push it underneath because he's like, I don't want that. Here. <laughs> no. You? Hmm? Oh, you ate it? I'm impressed. I can't believe it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You go to town, buddy. Bravo. How about you? A little bread for you? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, early going. These are the games we're going with. Caroline on the main screen. We got Trocek and Ajo. Up top on the left, we got Dolan and uh, Stutzel up there. And then, of course, on the right, we got Rinsky and we got Islander goalie. So that's important. What happened to my TV? Oh, we're good. So this is my day with the boys. Okay. What are you doing? I know what you're doing. So this is what he does. He, when he doesn't, look it. You hit it, didn't you? You hit it for later. You're trying to hide it. So here's what he does. Here's what he does. He's like unbelievably resourceful. 
He doesn't really want that one right now, the one that I just gave him. So he pushes it, hides it. And he hides it all over the, in the beds and stuff like that for later, just in case he gets hungry and he wants it then. Also, he pretends, look at me, mm, mopey mopey. I don't have one. Rocky has one. I don't have one. He takes Rocky's, hides it, <laughs> and then wants more. Pouty face. My wife falls for it every time. She's an absolute softy sucker. Anything that they want, they manipulate the shit out of her and get it. Anyway, here's the deal. We're going. We're headed out there. I am a hat guy at heart. I've always been a hat guy, okay? Here's the problem. When I was about 35, 36, I started wearing these glasses. And this against the hat is annoying right over here. Here's the problem, though. Also, I don't like the way it looks. Here's the problem, though. I tried contacts. I tried to put them in. I can't. Maybe we're going to have to give it one more shot and see if I can actually stick them in my eye. Because I can't do it. I've tried several times. Right, Brock? All right. Anyway, let's go play some No Limit Hold'em. Okay, we here at the trailer early despite a car accident. We still make it on time. Fantasy update, whether you like it or not. Gotta give you the, uh, so far it looks good. We had Aho with an empty netter from Trocheck. One thing I wanted to share, and this is goofy and you're gonna think I'm insane, but Yasperi Kakanyemi, I got him with the sixth overall pick in our junior draft uh, originally. And I traded him this off season for a second round pick and a, a, some caps, cap room. Cause I just, he went to Carolina and I already have Trocheck and Aho and that's not a good thing. If he was in Montreal, I was gonna sign him to a deal. He moved, and when he scored a goal, it hurts, man. <laughs> it's like you're a little baby, but you don't own him anymore. Maybe this is what the NFT people are talking about, right? Because like I have, I don't own Sebastian Ajo, but I do, kind of. If you look at our league, I got the rights, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to get my head around the ape thing and all that stuff, so maybe that's the closest I can get. But looking good in both leagues, looking like we, uh, we have to fade in the late game, Darnell Nurse and uh, Puljarvi from Edmonton. And they're playing Arizona, so that's kind of scary. But other than that, should be okay. All right, last thing as we go. Voracek did have an assist. It's okay, we're gonna win anyway. Welcome to the league, Philip Tomasino, to replace Kekanyemi on my, you know, he's my new young gun in Nashville. He scored a goal. You got Dylan Dubé, another guy I could have played. I didn't play, he had an assist, but so far so good. Ready, had a fun day. Now it's time to grind my ass off in this I get 23 big blinds. That, that seems unfair. That's a lot of chips for me playing nine-handed no limit hold'em. So we're gonna try to run it up right now. All right, so while I'm playing this thing, this is unfortunate. That says Cal Connor, empty netter. Okay, I can fade that. Another one, two goals in the last two minutes. That puts our Champions League game in jeopardy. So I'm sitting here on 10 big blinds, whatever, who cares? I'm gonna shove it and double, it's fine. So remember how I said I was in good shape? Well, my overtime player, Sebastian Ajo, had two goals and an assist. Now Kyle Connor with two goals, has two goals and an assist. So I'm up two and a half to two in that matchup. If he gets an assist from either Nurse or Puljarvi, then I would lose in overtime. If it's a goal, we lose the Champions League game, the other game's locked up. That's the end of the fantasy. Oh, I'm going to tell you how it ends up, of course. But other than that, we're in the big blind now, 10 bigs, and uh, yeah, try to double it up. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you, too. I could have used Calgary goalies at Detroit. Who would have done that, though, right? Would you have done that? Calgary had a shutout. New Jersey. I mean, the Islanders. That's, like, supposed to be, ah, oh, defense. So that cost me uh, 1.5 free goals against, but it's still the right play, right? You're not folding ever, but let's see. I have blackjack, ace and a jack. How about you? You got anything? Ace and a nine. So we're winning, of course. All right. What do you need, diamonds or a nine? Let's see. Let's see there. Okay. Yeah, I've seen this movie before. Looks like uh, Raz, unless a king, eight, or jack comes. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do something we don't do. We don't rarely do, but we're gonna do because my manager here, Frank Fanaro, says it makes sense. He's like, what? <laughs> anyway, we got about six big blinds here. A couple more hands, 10 minutes to go before this level's done. The Raz late reg ends at 9.45. So on the break, what I'll do is I'll buy a ticket for the Raz, put my stack in at 9.45. We'll play this one here, we'll do our best. And then, what are we handing off? 200 a hand? 200 a hand. $200 a hand and you get 25K in the Raz. 
make sense for what we're trying to accomplish. Like that's yeah. See, he knows what's up. My manager. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unbreak, regardless of how this goes here. Drop a stack in the Raz. Have him put it in at 9:45. So I moved all in for the six big blinds, and Russia is back. Russia with the big stack, protecting me with my big monster really? hand. Here we go. Okay. How big? I have kings. Ooh, king. Any good? Ace. Oh, I have two kings. <laughs> <laughs> Something like. That. Look at that. I'm actually in decent shape. Just an ace yeah, king. Yeah. No parry yet. So let's put some stuff up there. I don't know. Whatever. Suited stuff. Okay. Nothing yet. Not this way. All right, what else could come? Let's see. That's, oh, that's boring. Let's All right, see, well, yeah. I'm going to go play Raz then, gentlemen. Enjoy your day. Have a blast. Yeah. All right, this is the Raz table. Looks like a familiar face. It's right over here. Every time I play a $1,500 Raz or stud, you find yourself a Barry Greenstein. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. We're going to play Raz now. Good luck all. all right, we put 30 minutes work in, going to break. Got my stack up to 40,000 from 25. Pretty juicy tournament. Um, one of the, I think old, you know, I won't say old. It's not, I'm not gonna be an ageist, but like old school Raz players were like, oh, you know, you gotta get in with the best hand. Oh, you know, I'm not calling the three card eight. And really Raz is not a game where you're supposed to do that. Raz is a game where you gotta play because so many, like the hand values can change very quickly on four street. So if you started with like deuce three ten and your opponent has you know, ace, deuce, three. Okay, well, on four street, he catches a king, you catch a seven, now you're a favorite. <laughs> just like that. So, just because you're behind on three is not a big deal. We're going to play from behind a lot. No worries, up to 40K. Part of the value is steal, steal, steal. Pick up those valuable endings. When you steal, you get over two to one on the steal. So, for example, I was just explaining this to Frankie because he was trying to learn stud. If there's 900, let's say there's $100 ante, four and 800, right? Somebody brings it in, there's 900 bucks out there. It's gonna cost you 400 to win 900. If you do that every hand, for example, and half the time they all fold, good luck, Kevin. Half the time they all fold, and the other half of the time uh, they re raise you, you're printing. You could literally just open, say, three bet fold, and if they fold, you know what I'm You get what I'm saying. Anyway, so you gotta play pots and rest. Don't be chicken. Work, work, work. Four more hours to go in a strong $1,500 Raz. I spy with my little eyes somebody who was supposed to be sleeping for 48 hours but couldn't handle missing the 1,500 Raz. I couldn't, I couldn't. Where's your chips, man? Oh, no. It's going to be tough to freaking... Oh, that's what happens. Aunt Zeno. What the fuck? Why did I bet here? Of course I have a fucking nuts again. You're drawing dead. Why don't I check and let you just get it all in bed again? These two here. He had Zeno on the trap. That's what happened. He did, right? Oh, yeah, I had him trapped for all the chips earlier and he fucking let every straight dead and sucked out. <laughs> All right, last break of the night. I had one somewhat interesting Raz hand. I mean, I don't know if it's all that interesting. We're doing good. We got sixty thousand in chips. Yeah. All right, we're going the right way. Um, sort of an interesting spot where, make a long story short, uh, a guy raises. I call the the king bring in defends. He's you know reasonable player. Sometimes you do that with a king. So he catches a four, and then a five and a seven. So his, he gets the four first, a five, and then a seven. And he was betting. And my boy, I had, I had made a nine, seven, six, three ace. Nine, seven, six, three ace. His board is king, four, five, catches a seven. So if he's not paired on four or five, which he wasn't, because he couldn't have been, that seven isn't a card that he would call in the hole. So, so that's one of the hard things about playing uh, a king is that everyone knows you're gonna have like two wheel cards. So when you do catch the seven or the six or some, not even about the six as much, but like the eight, it's, it's we just know that you never paired it. So I was able to fold my seven six draw, and he had it. You know, he had a seven. So other than that, I mean, listen, we're just playing Raz. Steal when you got to steal, fold when you got to fold. Easy. To, if you want to learn how to play Raz, click there. Why well, have a fork? I randomly just a fork. <laughs> Here you go. It's right up in the corner. How to play Raz? Yeah, I think. Anyway. Let's do this. Two more hours. All right. So you remember yesterday I was talking about anything can happen in life. You know, we go through things and whatever. And this guy came up to me and he's like, let's be friends, whatever. And look, he's following me around now. Look at that. We're buddies now. No, it's all good. You know, the past is the past. Such is life. He grew up. I grew up. You know, 
yeah, if you're beefing with somebody, you just, you know, if do what it he doesn't did. make any sense, just, just make yeah. up. Like, Time heals all wounds. Positivity, like Phil Yeah, Holmes exactly. Said. There he is. Where is he? He's over he's here. Right yeah. behind he's right behind you. He's ranting and raving about fucking. He's fucking. You he's fucking like, called me nine six. I don't fucking trapped you. Three days it's, it's so cool funny shit. with that because he doesn't seem positive when he plays. He did after winning that. He did. No limit yeah. beast brace. He did. Yeah. He's bouncing around. We're hanging out here with the boys, playing a little rest. Okay, I bagged. It's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> So a couple things while we leave here, while we finish things off. I uh, had a hand against Brian, my con, on the end where I needed a four. Five paired me, I needed a four. So I squeezed it for fun. I squeeze it to two across, all right. I look deeper, sweet, it's a four. I bet for value, he's never folding. His board is like eight, three, six, ace or something. I bet the seven for value. He calls, I turn it up, boom, and it's a pair. I don't know how the hell I looked at a four and it was a five. So that cost me a 5K chip, which is, you know, substantial when you play uh, stud games, losing a big bet. That was a mistake. I just mis misread my hand. Like I m looked at the card, saw a card that it wasn't actually. So, so four hands to go in the night. I'm sitting on 12K, 12 antis. And I'm like, holy shit, four hands to go. Please give me something. Cause here's what's at stake, right? If I could bust in those three hands, I can sleep tomorrow like I did today, rest up, come in late for the 3K6 Max Nova, okay? Now we got a bag with 25,000 in it, which is gonna be, what are we playing? Four and 8,000, three bets. <laughs> I mean, you can run it up, it's you know, all the things, but ah, I had 60 and then just lost a bunch of pots. Uh, I don't know, that's fine, uh, whatever. So anyway, listen, I'll just, I'll be here. Um, Puppies are taken care of while, while my wife is gone visiting her mom. Patty's going to come in and make sure that the puppies are fed and played with and all that stuff. So I'll come in at two as I'm supposed to. And then, uh, you know, if things, if I don't win like the first hand I play in Raz, I'll hang out in the trailer for a bit like we do. Just relax. I need, that, that's key now, especially with these smaller ones. You know, I don't want to bang my head against the wall. That's why those last four hands, I'm like, man, come on. <laughs> if I'm not going to win this thing, bust me now. Bust me now. Drop. All right. Ooh, almost fell. These things, I can't believe nobody's fell off this yet. Anyway, that's going to be the vlog. We'll be back at 2 p.m. with our big stack of 25,000 playing either. I don't know if it's a double level or not. Probably not. Either way, it'll be 3 and 6,000, 4 and 8,000. We just have to win the next hand. Good night, everybody. I'm done. Peace.